Hey, it's Chris, the Dating Doc. We're going to talk about on this Dating Doc Raw, transactional relationships. We did it to ourselves and the system did it for us. So I'm going to break down real quick. Why do I think that two to three years from now, relationships, if you even want to call them that, are going the way of transaction? And I'm not talking about just the act. I'm not talking about just for face. I'm talking about relationships and companionship overall. So what's going to happen is we are no longer in the era of pair bonding, of emotions, of romance, of courting, of getting those butterflies. That era is almost gone. And when I say we, I'm not talking about the singles in their 30s and 40s like myself. I'm talking even in their 20s and even teenagers that are getting exposed to uh, content such as uh, extreme feminism, the manosphere, the pills, et cetera, et cetera. So what's going to happen two to three years from now? Well, what we're going to have is we're going to have singles that don't even know how to communicate, right? All their communication is emojis and, and one word haze and highs and all that stuff, right? So communication skills are going to be at a D minus. Pair bonding is going to be gone on both sides. For example, women are going to be done with pair bonding because of their past trauma, because of their trust issues, because they think all men are the same. And men, their pair bonding is going to be gone because they become addicts when it comes to playing video games and going on websites they're not supposed to and seeing videos they're not supposed to, right? And they do this overabundance to the point that when it comes to relationships, they're in scarcity mode. You get that? You see what I'm saying? They're going to be so focused on one side. The women are so focused on their past pain and abundance. And the men are so system systematic with their video games and the, and the websites in abundance that when it comes to relationship, they're going to be in scarcity. But they're not going to be in scarcity as saying, oh, man, I'm going to really try. No, no, because nowadays it's we're already in the era where toxicity and laziness is it. That is part of the American cultural value is try to find the shortcuts. Try to find the, the Paul brothers, the Jake Paul uh, way, Logan Paul way of making it, the TikTok way of making it, right? So that's the era we're in, especially with singles in their 20s who are going to really start advancing in their careers, who are starting to either look at making a family or not. There's not an in-between there. You either want to make a family or you don't. So again, we're in the era of just pure laziness and how can I get what I need to get as quick as I can? So for the woman, what are they going to do? They're going to exude, exude their looks, exude their sexuality. Meanwhile, guys are going to exude their resources if they have them. Now, I'm going to give you something real quick for the men. If you don't have the resources, if you're still trying to come up in this game of life, do not simp to the point that you are broke because then five or 10 years from now, when you finally are figuring it out and you know what kind of woman, you, you know the kind of rhythm of the companionship that you're looking for or relationship or partnership, but you're broke now, you are losing out. Meanwhile, the woman, guess what? Some of them may hit the wall, may not, whether it's physically or emotionally, but they're going to exude and take advantage of their sexuality. They're going to they're gonna run it to the ground as far as they can. Meanwhile, both sides are not going to work on their emotional intelligence, are not going to work on their communication skills, are not going to work on trauma resolution. It's going to be the era of talking to each other in emojis and transactional relationships. And I get it. Yes, there's always outliers. And I'm really, really hoping that the outlier becomes a majority of healthy relationships, honest relationships, right? Even if you're looking for just friends with benefits saying, hey, look, this is what I want, but I'm going to respect you just as much as a normal relationship. But unfortunately, we are doing it to ourselves. And the reason I say the system's also doing it is because, look, we're in the era where we might go into another shot, shutdown, another quarantine shutdown. We're doing it to ourselves because we're becoming smartphone addicts. If not, we're already smartphone addicts. So our dopamine level is depleted. We're not going to focus that dopamine on the excitement of a relationship, of really trying to vibe with someone. Everything's going to be transactional. You're going to treat dating 
just like you do your Netflix episodes, walking your dog, okay, working your your part time hustle. Dating is not going to be this like, man, okay, this is how I can really build upon something. This might change my life. I'm going to find a partner. No, it's going to be very transactional. And most people are going to be a little bit um, more on the fatalist side of it than on the hopeful side. I run into it every single day on my side. Good looking quality women that have given up because they think all men are the same. But all of a sudden, when I even hint, when I even hint at something that has to do with money and resources, if I say, you know what, I'm going to take on a nice dinner, we should go on a trip, all of a sudden, all of a sudden they're talking. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to down them for that. OK, the supply and demand and behavioral economics defines all of that. We as men, we're the reason they're thinking that way. Don't blame it on them. The way we act, there's a reaction to every action. So what I'm saying right now is if we keep going this course, that is what we're going to run into. We're going to run into this kind of transactional relationship. Pair bonding is now becoming an illusion to people. They're thinking, okay, why do I even need to do this? Why, why do I even need to care? Because if I risk it, I can risk being depressed for months. I can risk overeating. I can risk being out of shape. But look, let me tell you something. As long as you start with honesty with yourself first, if you tell yourself, look, I know that I, I want those feelings called love, but I'm not trying to hurt myself, then take the necessary steps to filter out the wrong kind of people. This is all preventable. What I just talked about is all preventable, and I'm giving you the solution right now. Have realistic expectations and hope. Don't go one way or don't go the other. Don't be blind going into one toxic relationship to the other because you just want someone in your life because you have abandonment issues. But at the same time, don't go the opposite way where you become a hermit. You're like, oh, why should I even try? Women go their own way. Men go their own way. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to get my money. What are you going to get your money for? Okay, you're going to spend it on a house. Got it. To be by yourself. You're going to spend it on video games. So what? You can keep doing them. Keep being by yourself. Or you could have this twisted type of relationship where you can say, okay, I focused on myself. I've made my money. Now I can invest it in the right kind of woman. But it's up to you. Do you invest it into a woman that doesn't have hers but can give you that companionship? Do you invest it in a woman who has her own resources but can also give you that companionship? Or do you tell, do you tell yourself, okay, well, she's got the resources, but she's not going to give me that companionship, so why bother? You see what I'm saying? So you can still have that realistic hope, but at the same time be up on game. As for woman, as for woman, you can also be the one that initiates that transactional relationship. You might be a still beautiful in shape, 40s and 50s, and say, you know what? I want a young guy. I'll get him that PS6, right? By now, by, by then, it might be a PS6 or Xbox X2 or whatever they have going on. You might be the one to say, you know what? I got my pets. I got my one or two kids. I don't need to worry about getting married again. But I need me a handsome buck. I can take care of some things and then I'm on my way. Okay, see what I'm saying? See how I, I looked at both sides of it. But yes, uh, in conclusion, I do believe, I do believe that we can still pair bond, leave them phones alone for a minute. Okay, still be hopeful, but still be realistic. But I also do believe that collectively we are moving towards a relationship for money type economy and or relationships. Yeah, I think that's where we're going at. So Chris, the Dating Doc signing out. Comment below. Let me know if you agree or not. Peace.